Hey guys, this is David with Black Owl Photographic. We're out here at Summer Park in Edwards, Illinois, getting ready for our photo shoot. Uh, our idea for this was we're going to shoot a couple of sequences of a mountain man um, in two scenarios. One at his homestead, which is the location that we're at now, and then the other is kind of out in the boonies um, in the woods. Summer Park is a facility of the Victoria Park District and we're located in Edwards, Illinois. Originally served as a homestead for the Kerner family. They came here in 1849, lived here until 1948. So the 320 acres is what they raised their children on. Over the last 25 years, the Park District has invested into making this a living history site. And so on this property, we have a blacksmith shop, we have a schoolhouse, a homestead, and we're at the homestead and we have our lights set up, we have our model in place. I just want to kind of walk through the different lighting that we have here. We have two strobes inside of these candle lanterns. It's obviously, we don't want these strobes in the final shot. So after we get the shot that we want, we're going to remove the strobes, stick candles in it, and then to retake the shot with the candles in there, and then in post, uh, do the manipulations needed to composite both images so we have the candles uh, in the images and we have the spill, the lighting that the candles are supposedly creating generated by the strobes. We have this big soft box here. This is simply kind of a catch-all. In addition to these three lights that we have inside the building, we have two strobes outside as well. One shining through this window to kind of simulate moonlight coming in. It's not gel in conjunction with these lights, which are gel, um, it'll create kind of a blue cast. We also have a light outside this window, again, to kind of shine in a little bit and provide some light coming through that. Alright, so here we are with Tom, our, our lovely model. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, what we have here is we have one light, one SB600, gelled orange, and this is, we're using CLS from my Nikon here to fire this. And then what we're trying to do here with this snoot is create a simulation for this candlelight. Uh, we want the candlelight to appear as the primary light source. And so we have this snoot to kind of, you know, direct the light so we don't get a lot of spill back here and, and we can kind of control it so it looks looks like it's actually coming from the candle itself. We then, if you can kind of see over here, we have a large reflector that's bouncing some of that light back up in the strobe, back up into our model, and kind of filling in some of the details. This is very light, it's not doing a lot. The snoop is restricting a lot of the flash from hitting that. So it's not a whole lot, it's not very noticeable, but it's enough to kind of give some detail back in those shadow areas. The last thing we did for lighting is because this is open top, we wanted to make sure that there was no light kind of coming behind him. We wanted it to really kind of feel like an enclosed area. And so we have our flag. And we place the flag basically right above it's black material, non-reflective. And it, it just makes sure that that whole area back there is dark. So the only light source is this candle. That's about it. Haven't gotten one. Trying to make the candle not look so new and kind of used and been burnt a few times and to speed it up I'm just uh, using the candle we actually pulled out that was really short. Yeah, okay. <laughs> kind of a bit. Yeah you can tell me shut up in the time. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. We're opening up our two images, one that's the candlelight and one with the strobe light. Uh, as we can see, we have our strobe stands in the shots. We, can't, we have to edit those out. Rather than Photoshopping them out of one, we decided to actually Photoshop our model into the candlelit scene. Uh, we figured that would be the most effective. We liked how the shadows were created by the natural candle lanterns and we were able to achieve a sharp enough image. Uh, one thought we had originally were thinking is that we would Photoshop in the candle lanterns lit by themselves into the strobe lit scene, um, but since we were able to achieve a sharp enough image with the candles, um, 
we, we decided to just Photoshop in our strobe lit model into our candle lit scene. So that's what we're doing. However, as you notice, uh, because we kept our model in our candle lit scene, we're having some alignment issues where he's kind of, we can see some of like his pant leg here from the candle lit scene is not aligned with his pant leg. He moved a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to have to do, and what you'll see, is we actually uh, clone out parts of our candlelit model from the scene. We weren't exactly sure how we were going to edit this when we started the project. So that's why we captured as much information as we could. That way, giving us as much flexibility in post-production as possible. Once we photoshopped our model in there so that the transition was seamless, we did some general global edits to the color, changes, contrast, and, and finished up our image with darkening around the edges to kind of emphasize some of the shadow areas and bring the intention of the viewer back into our subject. Uh, we didn't want the viewer's eye to kind of wander around the scene. Uh, we wanted to kind of control it and have it fix and stay on our subject. And there you can see the combination between the two before and afters. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for joining us on this behind-the-scenes tutorial. Uh, hope it was helpful as you approach your own projects. Thanks. hunting for about 10 hours and I'm starting to get really really cold and my fingers are cold so I'm just gonna just hunker down here in this little cabin that we found and um, hopefully that uh, the deer will come by and that one big grizzly I saw earlier I'm gonna shoot it and I'm gonna eat it clean it out hide in it for a while just like they did on the Star Wars right there's where the beaver are 10 steps or two rock throws from the overhang right here. This is where I killed my first bear. He had me. I kicked him. He fell over the edge. And then I jumped on him. Cut him with my knife. This my card. Bounce card, whatever. Got it. Yeah. Pretty sure. See that scar right there? For sure. That's when I cut myself when I was 10 years old. <coughs> yeah, yeah. 10 years old. I had to shave.